Your man be out here telling people that, yeah, I'm single, and no, I don't got a girlfriend, and yeah, he be out here lying to the girls. Then you want to beat the girls up and stay with your man. Let me go ahead and blend this contour out, because that wasn't even... Suckers. Hey, today's video is going to be girl friendly. Is that a thing? I'm going to be doing my makeup as well as talking about some unwritten black girl rules. Now, I posted this photo on my community tab and it has 2,000 comments. So, I'm going to attempt to get through um, some that really stuck out to me and I think will be good conversation pieces. <laughs> think pieces. All the products that I use, I will have them on the screen. So, the original artist was uh, Cheyenne the Writer on Instagram. But when I went back to her page, her page is not there anymore. But I did want to give her a shout out. I do have one brow on that I have yet to prime. So, I'm going to go in with my primer and powder. I call this the Jackie Ina method because before Jackie did it, I really didn't see anybody doing it. And that's to go in with powder before I apply my liquid foundation. I put a little bit too much, but I'm going to just press this. Unwritten black girl rule number one. If a woman is childless or not married by a certain age, it is not your business nor your place to question her why or pressure her to do so. That comment got 5,000 likes and that's a fact. I'm gonna go ahead with my cover girl, okay? Z80. So there's another comment under it. Honestly, we need to stop acting like people who have kids and are married accomplish something paramount. It in turn makes it seem like women who don't have either are less than women who do such are. A man does not make me any better as a person and neither does a child. Hmm. Okay, so my thing with that is we don't want to belittle anybody, okay? If you want a family, a husband, and children, and you have that, that is something, in my opinion, that is paramount. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be a mother and wanting to be a wife. I think sometimes we think that anything associated with men and children is, like, negative. But there are women who also cannot you know physically cannot be a mother there are women who are not going to just settle with a man just to say i have a husband and yeah you shouldn't settle so at the end of the day i think the whole point of that was mind your business if i don't got kids yet it's because i probably don't want kids all me back can't have you don't know mind your business don't ask me if my hair is real or fake because it doesn't matter and it's none of your talk about that though right because I'm a girl's girl I'm a girl's girl and my energy is just so contagious seriously and I don't ask people that like I don't ask people that subconsciously because I just feel like if it is or if it ain't it don't matter it still look cute you get what I'm trying to say now I'm also the type of woman that's if somebody's like oh I love your hair I'll tell you like if I if I get good energy I'll tell you it's not the purple pack the pink pack but to just flat out be like, is that your real hair? Yeah, I don't like that. Especially if you don't have a friendship or a relationship with that woman. Being well-spoken and articulate doesn't make you less black. I hate the stereotype of black girls being ghetto. Educated does not equate to whiteness, okay? If you didn't know, learn your history. We taught the white people, okay? We taught them how to read, how to write, how to wash, wash their ass. We are the original educators. So being educated, being articulate, there's nothing white about that. I also want to add to that, even if you do speak with slang, it also doesn't mean that you're not intelligent or articulate. Like I know a lot of people that are in the absolute wrong field. I mean, they hood as hell and they are smart. I know a couple people that when you text them, all they saying is duh and duh. Honestly, sometimes it's hard to read. From any math equation, they got it. Science, they know it. To be the best chess player, you know at chess. You know what I'm trying to say? So I feel like even on the, you know, the flip side of that, if you are someone who might not necessarily, you know, enunciate every word and your job, like you might not do all of that. That does not mean you're not smart. <laughs> Don't ever tell another woman her hair is nappy. It's called natural, relaxed, straightened or whatever our hair is capable of many styles 
Now personally, I feel like the term nappy is kind of like in the same boat as the word nigga. Like you can use it in a good way, you know, in an endearing way. And you can also use it maliciously, right? And I feel like that's the same thing with the word nappy. Like if I was to say like, I love my nappy hair. I love that my hair is nappy and has kinks. But then if someone says, get out of here with your nappy ass head, think you cute and your hair all nappy. I could go with that. But I would just say like stop using the term nappy in a negative way because there are people that use nappy in a just as a way to describe their hair in a positive way. Like I don't know. I don't know. I'm down for not insulting anyone because of their hair texture. I'm down for that. Don't ever call another another black person burnt biscuit in front of me. It will get messy. Girl, burnt biscuit, she done took me back, okay? That rule basically falls under the umbrella of colorism right insulting someone based on their skin tone and making someone feel less than because they're darker yeah that definitely gotta go okay so someone came up with her own list Ooh, this was helpful number one acknowledge each other's growth number two verbally appreciate each other's efforts i like that one number three compliment a sister when she's popping facts don't be no hater girl black girl black girl don't be no hater don't hate don't do it don't do it. Don't hate on the next. Compliment. Encourage. Your time gonna come. It's all right. <laughs> There's no need. There's no need. We got enough outsiders. We don't need to hate on each other. Tell a sis when she's messed up or being or is self-sabotaging. Don't mess with each other's significant others slash boo things, exes, situations. Oh, friend. Now I would say obviously this would be more so within your circles. But that's the weird thing to me. Why would you want to? Number six, help each other out. Number seven, tell her her booty fat. Period, okay? I wanna know when it look good in them jeans. I don't wear jeans like that. Don't insinuate a black woman must be mixed with another race just because you find her beautiful. Wow, that was deep. Now that is also a good one. I can say for me personally, when I assume that someone is mixed, it has nothing to do with whether they're beautiful or not, or whether, you know, I find them attractive or not. Um, but I can completely understand this. And I, sometimes people don't want to admit that they're mixed. I'd be like, all right, but you, it ain't nothing wrong with, uh, okay, all well, right, well, true. Let me see some of the comments on that one actually. Someone said, God, I hated this. There was a girl that would always ask if I was mixed because of my hair and try to touch it. If the answer was no last week, the answer is no this week and the weeks that follow. Don't ask me again. Let me love that. Someone said, I hate that so much. I clearly look black, but because I act, sound, dress differently, and also when they find me pretty, I must be mixed. So black women can't be hood and classy, sexy and graceful. Y'all looking at it. Like why? It makes me feel like you're trying to be something you're not even though you're just being yourself the one thing all my life I've always been proud of is being an African queen and it's sad when people constantly let me love this people constantly are trying to take that away why can't we be proud of who we are and where we've come from wow I ain't got nothing but snaps for you, sister. I really like this one, I'm sorry. But <laughs> someone says, when we're the only black girls in a room, we gotta sit together and start a conversation. And in um, parentheses, she says, sometimes that doesn't always work out, LOL. Now, I used to play by this. I did, when I used to go to the different beauty events and makeup events, I played by this. But mostly because I knew most of the girls from online anyway, so I would just go to the black girls that I knew from online and be like, hey, girl, da, 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 da. And like she says, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. You gonna be on some like, do I know you? But then at that moment, you just know that she ain't, she ain't with, she ain't on code. You don't follow Ela Ho okay. You're not a uni, okay. That's actually a really great rule and we should implement it, I like that. Sit with me, sit with me. Jealousy amongst black women should stop. Since black women as a collective are not put on a pedestal in the media, we compete with each other to see who is more attractive. We are all in the same boat. And if you see a black woman who you think is more attractive than you, badder than you, etc., remember that she's already had to fight the fight of being a black, of being black and a woman. Yes, she may be receiving boasts from men, but she and no other black woman came into this world to be validated by a man. I got chills. <laughs> I got chills. This don't have enough likes. 
I got chills. Wow. I'm about to cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why is he smoking? Let me get back to this makeup because I'm trying to make me cry. Man. I felt that. I felt that. I felt that bad. <laughs> I felt that bad. I felt that bad. The next one, don't say you a pretty dark skin. I'm pretty, period. Someone asks, but what if the dark skin girl is so beautiful, even and smooth, and that I'm compelled to acknowledge it? So basically someone, you know, they're saying like, well, what if you are a pretty dark skin girl and I wanna acknowledge your beautiful melanin? So I said, you can compliment our dark skin, of course. However, don't insist we are pretty in spite of our skin. So that's the difference. If you want to compliment someone's skin tone, I think that's okay. You're pretty for a dark skin girl. You're basically saying that being dark skin is the flaw, but in spite of that flaw, you're still pretty. No, 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 no. My dark skin actually makes me look better. In my opinion. <laughs> in my opinion, it's, it's what getting the jokes. You feel me? So, yes, that is what we call a backhanded compliment. And some people don't even realize they're giving you backhanded compliments because they don't realize that that's self-hate. <laughs> Whether you're dark or not, if you feel like you're better because you're not dark skin or dark skin or, or being dark skin is beneath or less, then you hate yourself. It just is what it is. Always make sure to uplift little black girls, especially if you have them around you. This is, <laughs> this is probably the most important thing on this list right now. So important to reinforce into little black girls how beautiful how intelligent they are how they can grow up to be anything and anyone they want to be because those little girls will take my place one day you know and be on here with the looks the facts and the t and i need her to know i need her to we gonna pass you the baton one day baby girl you gotta run with it let's stop assuming the worst of each other and understand if there's a personality difference it doesn't have to get or be nasty everyone thinks black girls have an attitude when really they can have anxiety or be shy check your own bias at the door as well i think we have to have more empathy for one another oh this is so important different personality traits Everybody has different personality traits, y'all. Like literally everybody. There are girls who are there are black girls who are shy. There are black girls who are loud. There are black girls who have anxiety. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just trying to get under these brows and make sure this can see this can these you hear me? I was watching um <laughs> I was watching um cooking channels on YouTube and I watched this one guy, his accent. I just be like, what is he saying? Raw Jamaican accents like the bleh, but bleh, like you can't even, you don't even know my nigga, you don't know, yes. I just really enjoyed my trip to Jamaica. Let's stop assuming the worst in each other. We all have different personality traits. Check your biases at the door. What biases do you have against certain personality traits? We all have them. It's natural to me personally. I've been, um, what's the word? It's a scratch. Who scratched me? Uh, somebody was beating my ass in my sleep. <laughs> but there is I'm not gonna lie I have my own biases because I grew up in the hood okay and there were just certain personality traits that completely turned me off till today as an adult if I see that I'm like because it just reminds me of that um but yeah so sometimes I have to check my own biases this actually goes into kind of what I was saying but acting superior to someone because of your skin because your skin is lighter or hair is longer is not okay. I think there's a fine line between <laughs> superiority complex and confidence. Um, and I think sometimes those lines can get blurred. Like I don't want people to think that there's something wrong with being confident. If you are someone, no matter how long or short your hair, how light or dark your skin, you should have confidence to the utmost. Can't nobody tell me nothing about nothing. What? Who? <laughs> wait, wait, what are you talking about? Do you see, do you, do you, oh, God gave, this is God given. I don't know what else, who else, what else. You are supposed to have that confidence. Can't nobody tell you nothing, period. And I want all of us to have that, that high confidence level. Now, there's a difference between me being confident to the max, which I am, and me seeing somebody else and being like, I'm better than them because I'm confident. 
no that's not that's that's superiority complex and i think sometimes the lines get blurred <laughs> if you are a light-skinned young lady with long hair and you know that you are pretty and that you are beautiful you are allowed to have confidence just like everybody else now if your confidence takes you to the point where you're like huh, i look better than all these black girls because i'm light-skinned and i got long hair that's superiority <laughs> that's not confidence you actually you got some issues you got to work out but that can go across the board that can go for dark skin girls with maybe even type 4 hair you know what i'm trying to say and they might feel like oh i'm not type 4 sorry that could even go for dark skin girls that have different textures like a looser curl maybe they might have confidence in their hair and some might also feel like huh, i got good hair and y'all got bad hair you know what i'm trying to say so it's not just light skin anybody can have a superiority complex but again confidence have it all superiority thinking that you're better than someone because they don't have what you have physically or financially whatever the case may be i ain't cool with that so i say all that to say i agree with that <laughs> i agree with this let me go ahead and like it and love it it's not a rule but we have an unspoken bond where we communicate with our eyes and tell each other things without speaking a word that yo that is a fact <laughs> that is a fact I love it because i'll be like sis and she'd be like sis with the eye she'd be like sis and i'd be like sis this is some bullshit and sis be like it is we here yeah, i do like that we can speak with our eyes when we're on cold um and then the first part was yes compliment all i love when my wig is laid and somebody's like girl your wig is laid but when i'm rocking my natural hair i think it's more important to compliment black women who rock their natural hair because even like first of all we know how long that take okay we know how long it take um so i'm about to go in with my face powder um you know that is is not always socially acceptable especially depending on length and texture right so of course compliment that lady let her know she did listen your hair look cute your hair look good now i also will say be genuine with your compliments if you feel like her hair look bad today like girl i don't even want to I i'm good on fake compliments then i think we also kind of have to reshape what we consider i spoke on this before hair being done like you know like oh your natural hair is done and it's not done if somebody just wants to rock their afro yes that's done to her okay <laughs> i hear people like oh you need to get your hair done because you're rocking an afro it's like wait this is done i know how long it took me to grow this afro and then style this afro are you crazy so yeah i do agree with complimenting um natural hairstyles if we come together we leave together period that's not even just black girls that's girl you come with your friend you leave with your friend okay this one was really good ladies okay some of y'all might not like this <laughs> but it says stop giving other races a pass for their ignorance about us and i gotta say it it's the kim k's that a lot of black women give passes for it's the cardi b's a lot of black women give passes for it's the k-pop fans that a lot of y'all give passes for so that's not to say that you can't be fans of these people or like these people but it's just to say when people do fuckery like come on in the name of in the name of god like in the name of all things holy please Please stop giving people passes just because you simply like them. Like, if you know they shouldn't be saying nigga, please just don't. You know, oh, her great, 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 great was black so she could say nigga. Or, oh, the K-pop people, they're not allowed to speak so they can't speak. Just stop. Like, just stop, please. I heard it all. I seen it all. Kim K freed the blacks. Y'all block you. I will block you. Okay. Fenty bronzer. Yeah, girl. Stop caping for everyone, specifically black men, when they haven't earned it, deserved it, and are colorist slash texturist. Let's cape for black women and our own selves first. Cause of no one else is sure. We love that one. Ooh, this is a good one. But see, this is why I say we gotta have our own private meetings. Don't share our code and rules openly. Damn, that's what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> openly for all the Beckys, Karens, and non-black women who despise. We're talking about the ones who despise us, not the ones that love us and y'all here and y'all be sipping. Okay, not y'all. We're talking about the ones that despise us. Okay. They despise black women, but be lurking and stalking us online in effort to learn how to impersonate us, how to look like us, and etc while still despising us publicly and demeaning us while wearing our looks and personalities and looking like fools because our looks and personalities don't fit them. Oh, snap, baby, snap. Come on. Come on, read. <laughs> Come on, read and rule. <laughs> I love that. And y'all know what that means, so I don't have to explain. 
Someone said, let your man be the man in the relationship. I'll say that again. <laughs> let your man be the man, ladies. And, and honestly, I have no problem with that. I want you, wait, where's my eyeliner? I think for the most part though, women want the man to be the man. Yes, I want you to do these things so that I don't have to do it. Wait a minute. Oh, but let me finish reading. I'm sorry. I just took a whole thing. Um, there is a reason why it's called a partnership. You do not need to do everything. Grow together. Team work. This one, we should be supporting each other. Girl, y'all support me and I do appreciate that. So I got to say thank you. I got a lot of supportive unicorns. As soon as I drop a video first, I'll be like, oh, well, you sure did skip that ad, didn't you? Nah. <laughs> we should be supporting each other. Find beautiful black women to support and listen to their music, pay for their art, collaborate with each other, etc. No, I think it's so true. And I don't see a lot of collaborations happening anymore. I mean, obviously with the corona, but even before that, even before that, it's kind of like, I don't know. I don't see collaborations anymore. Hopefully after the quarantine, we'll see more black girl collaborations. I'm really excited about that. Now I'm gonna go in and contour. If your man cheats, assume, start by assuming, honey, assume she didn't know because in most cases she didn't. Yeah, your man be lying. Your man be out here telling people that, yeah, I'm single and no, I don't got a girlfriend. And yeah, he be out here lying to the girls. Then you wanna beat the girls up and stay with your man. Let me go ahead and blend this contour out because that wasn't even... If you're going to keep taking him back, just let that man cheat in peace. No, seriously, because those be, that that be the case. You do all of this to figure out who the other woman is, beat up the other woman, and then he cheats on you again. I just never understood that. Like, why are you mad at old girl? Now, it's different if, A, you know her and she knows y'all together. Don't settle for struggle love in the name of black love. Lord, golly, Lord, Jesus. If it's a struggle, it's a struggle, baby girl. We don't want you out here struggling. We don't want you out here struggling. Don't do that. Let me, mm, that was a good one. I'm gonna end on this one as if you're highly gifted in terms of academics, when a sister comes to you for help, help her. Healthcare, oh girl. When an auntie, sister, or daughter comes to your care, over educate her on all options. Over explain every test, medication, procedure pertaining to her be there for her and actually care just make her your responsibility so treat this person as if it was your mother your little sister your best friend you know what i'm trying to say i love that comment i love that comment because we need more black healthcare providers we need that in healthcare um in the workplace do not overstep your boundaries but stay cordial stay in your lane honey <laughs> okay as far as sex stay safe condoms be smart. Do not allow what you do not want. If you are not satisfied, speak up, girl. Speak up or you're going to be dissatisfied for life and we ain't living a life of dissatisfaction. I like that. She's good. Okay. Fashion. Slay. Unapologetically. Period. Poo. Um, marriage and dating. Please do not knowingly allow yourself to be a mistress or a side chick. I completely agree. Black women should not be mistresses and side chicks, honey. It's either chosen or not chosen, okay? Under no circumstances, you are too beautiful and more than deserving of a partner for you and only you. I like that. And even though I really did want to end on that one, I just saw another one and she says, stop calling yourself a rada da. We gonna end on that. <laughs> We gonna end on that one, cause who, where we riding to, and why I got the dot? God ain't put me here to ride and die. What? <laughs> so that's the last rule for this video. Face is done. I need to go take pictures for Instagram. But if you want to see more of the rules, you can definitely go over to my community tab. Let me know what do you think of these rules so far. Any that you agree with, disagree with, needs to be modified a little bit. All I know is we need a solid 10. We need a solid 10 black girl code rules. That unspoken. We don't need to keep talking about it. 10 rules. Boom. Follow them. And that's it. <laughs> thank you guys for hanging out with me while i did my makeup and we talk some girl talk let me know if you enjoy these type of videos if you want to see more of this on my channel make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you at the next one